you think that this world, San Quentin, has any relation to the world outside? This world, San Quentin, is where all the children of God are. It's where you keep all your children that you don't want. The ones that you get to carry the heavy load. You know what going on as I just talk natural on the line. Charlie, Charlie, wait, wait, man. It's just I told you, see, nothing I do is right, man. It's all right. Unless I stay in a cell. They crowd me and I got this little space. My life is bigger than this little space. I live in the desert. I live in the mountains, man. I'm big. My mind is big. But everybody's trying to crowd me down and push me down and make me into all these little things that they need me to be. And that's not me at all, man. That's not me. Isn't this an act right now? What isn't an act? What isn't an act? So you put on act. Are you an act? Sure, so are you. Well, all right, then. So we're all an act, well, right? Well, what isn't? The only thing that isn't an act is when someone gets killed. And then it, is, it, it, it isn't an act because people's fear sees it as being real. So the only thing people see as real is fear. So if the people in the underworld are knocking people down in the streets and breaking their jaws, maybe it's the people in the underworld that want you to see that I am very real and I am on this planet Earth and I am moving for Atwa, my air, my water, my trees and my wildlife in every way I know how, in every way I can. Howdy, or a bug in the bushes, man. Why well, I got to be, a, you know, I don't live in that world you live in. I wouldn't, you know, I don't have nothing to do with that world. I drove in Cadillacs through town, you dig? I had nine pockets full of money looking around thinking, wow, what's next, you know? That's a bigger jail than the one I'm in. You're in jail. You're in prison, man. These guys here are in prison. I'm not locked in dollar bills. I'm free, man. I'm free. See, spiritualism scares you people because you've got this little stereotype church that you're buying and selling and you're trying to put God in a building. But God is much bigger than that little church. You know, and spiritualism is a lot more than they put in libraries and books. And most religious people know that. Yeah. You know me when you see me. That's the part of me that they, that they hate. Because they don't like you when you see me. Because they don't like the real to be seen. Because most people like to hide the real because the real is always what gets hurt. The real is what we don't understand. The real is, you know, the real is what we push under the baby. You know, we put it over by the baby and leave it, you know. The real is, uh, is difficult. The real is, the real is says, it says this. Surrender. Give it up. Every minute. I want it all. One world. That's the only way that we're going to survive. One world government. One money. One computer. One zoo. One prison. One person. One. Those of us who are or have been so much influenced by violence in the media, in particular pornographic violence, are not some kinds of inherent monsters. We are your sons and we are your husbands. And we grew up in regular families. And pornography can reach out and snatch a kid out of any house today. He, he snatched me out of my home, it snatched me out of my home 20, 30 years ago. Uh, and as diligent as my parents were, And they were diligent in protecting their children. And as good a Christian home as we had, and we had a wonderful Christian home, uh, there is no protection against the kinds that the kinds of influences that are loose in the society. They need criminals, man. They need people to lock up in cages. If they didn't have people to lock up in cages, man, they wouldn't be able to sell more fear to the public. And they sell more fear to the public and all the old women they love buy that fear. They just lay back and watch that fear and read the detective magazine. What makes the knife or knife the shooter shoot? Society, the reflections of the child. Why shouldn't people be scared by you? There's only one person you can be scared of and that's yourself.
You know what I think? I think that you are an evil person. Right, I'm evil. I'm terrible. You are terrible. Oh, yeah, I'm awful. I'm awful. You're a murdering dog, sir. Oh, I'm a terrible dog. I'm a fiend. You're a mass murdering dog. A mass murdering dog. And where did you get these ideas? I guess the evidence. But does it pay you to say that more? I mean, if I paid you to say the other way, would you walk backwards? I don't walk backwards. Well, then, you know, it's kind of silly. I never walk backwards. It's kind of silly. You read a newspaper and you look on TV and then you come and you see me and you want to call me what they told you. And you know, you know that 99% of that newspaper is for money, not the truth. You know that. When this What don't we understand? You don't understand yourselves. No, but what don't we understand about you? I grant you, we don't understand ourselves. But what don't we understand about you? This is what I said. I'm inside of you, man. Yeah. I live inside of you. I'm inside every one of you. And to say that suggests that what? You being evil is inside of us? Life. Yeah. Evil. It's not, you know, it's beyond good and evil, man. It's a balance. It's aberration. I didn't see I didn't have anything to do with them. I didn't, you misunderstand. Tell me what you're saying about it. If you're their last will and testament, what are you saying? You've got a circle, man, that man lives inside of. He lives inside this circle. He's responsible for this circle and this circle only. You can take that to the house of the rising sun in Japan, the samurai. You can take that to the second world war. You can take it hanging on a cross. You can kill me a thousand times, but it's still there. It makes no difference whether I'm in the circle or not, it's still there. What this man does outside that circle is none of my business. But if he comes up to the circle, I'm going to go, Tim, it's down in my circle. If you don't stand in my circle, you're with your own life here. Your own life, man. Can't you see it's your life? It's not mine. I'm just another guy walking down the road going, Bloo. How can it be everything to everybody? You want me to face all your fears and all your debts when we die again for you? You want me to go to the gas chamber and walk in and say, all right, preach on one side and preach on the other side. And they say, I'm the son of God. And they say, we know, son, go in and sit down. Give us your life again. And I say, I give you my life because I think you're taking care of the kids. But then I get out from the gas chamber and I go around and look at the kids. You're not taking care of the kids. You're feeding on them. You're drunk on their blood, man. I'm an old man. All I want to do is retire. Get on the desert and be left alone. I don't want to bother nobody. I'm hiding out from the world. They come to me and say, hey, Charlie. Come on. I said, what do you want? Do you want to talk? I said, about what? We have problems. The water's dying. Your water's dying. Your life is in that cup. Your water's dying. Your trees are dying. Your wildlife locked up in zoos. You're in the zoo, man. How do you feel about it? How do you feel? How do you feel that your children would do something like that? How do you feel that... An ex convict would get out of jail and go find rocket scientist children out in garbage cans. Go home. I can't. My mother, my father won't with me. They're drunks. They hate me. I'm responsible for your children. You won't be responsible for. How do you feel about those murders? How do you feel about it? That's what counts. Happened in your world, not mine. Not in my circle, because I wouldn't allow it. But listen, those people that died never violated your circle. I didn't have anything to do with those people that died. But son, how many times I got to tell you they died in Vietnam, they died in Korea. I didn't have nothing to do with that. I never told nobody, you go over and kill those people out in Oscarava. I said like this, be responsible for your own actions, man. Anybody who watches this tape. the things that you have said and hear the things that you have said and they also are going to say that man is mentally sick and what do you say to that? when you take a negative from a picture and you hold it up to the light you don't see the light, you see the negative so what you think in your mind as you look at me is how you're judging yourself in the world this guy here yeah. was written down in the scriptures Long before I got here. You think you'll ever leave prison? Prison? I left prison in 67. I got out of jail. Yeah, but you're back. Can't you see I'm out, man? Can't 
Can't you see I'm out? Can't you see I'm free? 